Hello there, and welcome to Theme Hospital, Large Chester Hospital, episode 3. So we're going to go to Large Chester Hospital. Let's go, move to the next level. Boop. Ta-da! Okay, so Large Chester Hospital, what do we have? Where's my mouse gone? Mouse, thank you. So you've been setting up, pause. You'll be setting up a hospital in an affluent area this time. The Ministry of Health is looking at you to secure a healthy profit here. You'll need to gain a good reputation to begin with, but once your hospital's ticking over, concentrate on earning as much cash as you can. There's also a chance for emergencies occurring. These are when large numbers of people arrive all at once, all with the same condition. Curing them all within the time limit earns you a better reputation and a bigger bonus. Diseases like the King Syndrome could occur, and you should budget your building for operating theatre. We have a ward close by. Earn yourself twenty thousand dollars to make the grade. All right, so just close that. This little helipad here for people who don't know the helipad. Basically, it's you get an emergency coming in, and the heli a helicopter come down and drop off between two and say ten people with an illness, and you have to cure all of them within a set time. It can be quite difficult if it's something that's a, like a long duration thing, like um, if it's an operation, they've got to go to the ward, and then they've got to go into the theatre, and then they've got to get sorted out in the theatre, and hey, they're done. But if it's a long duration thing, it can take a while, so you can, you can actually lose them if you're not very careful. Anyway, let's get building. On pause and go. Uh, oh, we can keep it paused. I do like to keep it paused when I'm first doing the initial build. It stops me a sort of panic building. I like to be more, more strategic. So... I keep pressing buttons like it's RimWorld, WASD and right clicking to bring menus up. No, that's not how it works anymore. Okay, so let's start with our little reception desk. Uh, reception desk. Oh, two desks. Uh, two desks. Nah, just one desk will do. A uh, whole bunch of... Oh, uh, God. Um, this area here is perfect for reception, basically. So, let's actually start with diagnostic room. Diagnostic room, GP topic. Why are we going to pause? I paused it, but I can't remember why I paused it. Okay, so if we put a GP's office there, actually cancel, uh, that makes that that big, there, so we start there, uh, and bring it down one, there we go. So if we put it there, we'd have enough room for a bigger room back there. Yes, we would. General diagnosis and something like that, something nice and big behind it. I kind of like that sort of sticking out like that, so let's put it there. Da 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 da. Okay, and put the desk in. Put the filing cabinet. Oh, there we go. Right click. I completely blanked on the controls again. I did it last time as well, if you remember rightly. Give me a bin, a plant, and a radiator. Put the radiator here because this area is going to be quite cold. Otherwise, take the plant there and put the bin there. There we go. We have a room! Yay! Now, let's get some uh, reception desks, some benches, a drinks machine, uh, a couple of radiators, and some plants. Now, because the reception is there, that's actually not a bad place there, though, right up against the corner, but. Uh, ooh! There! <laughs> okay, uh, let's put some there, there. I like to have benches around the door. Then we'll say put one there and there. Put that cap it there. Ooh, 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 all the hard bits. Uh, you, however, I want to put that in that corner. Just keep the them warm. I put one over here as well. There we go. And plants can go. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. All oh, nice, good. Now you, I want you actually. I want to put you in that corner. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. Now, we could put that. One second. I am just playing with the plants right now. <laughs> this is Hospital Decoration Simulator 2013. Uh, actually, 2009? No, it wasn't. It was 1997. Sorry, I was completely blank on it. On the years came out. Put that there. Put that. Put that. There. There we go. Plants can go in the corner, and there, and we'll sort them out later on, but we'll put, pick it up, put it there. Alright, so, let's go away. Let's, 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 
Start, we've got the important buildings we need. So we're going to need that room. Then we're probably going to need a general diagnosis just to make sure we've got all our bases covered, which is why I want this bigger room sort of situated just here. We've got dip, dip, and dip. Thank you. And then put the curtain there, right by the door. Put that there. So the curtain by the door just means it's faster to keep people in and out. Good. A bin, a plant, a radiator. Boop. Radiator can go there. The plant can go there. And the bin can go there. Boop. Thank you. Also, because of that, we need benches. Bench, 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 bench. Put two benches, three benches, and a drinks machine. All with good combination. Da, 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 da. One there, one there, one there, and drinks machine. Excellent. Okay. Uh, the game is not poor, so they are. Uh, we're just waiting for it to tick down a little bit. Uh, we'll have ignored those for a little minute, but I want to get the get the pharmacy. And pharmacy is always the. Uh, Actually, it's not. Let's not build anything else. Let's just get the uh, get the game running. Uh, open the doors. Very nice. Uh, hire some staff. Let's see. Let's get a receptionist because we need those first. They are uh, the most important part of the office, of the hospital. Get a person. Put them there. Let's get a handyman to make sure the plants don't die. Uh, you. Thank you. And uh, let's get a doctor in because you know I'm playing if we don't. Uh, ooh, a surgeon. A high quality surgeon as well. There. Uh, I want another doctor in because I need one for the general diagnosis, but what do we want? Ooh. I could do with a psych uh, psychiatrist. You're a psychiatrist. That's what that symbol there means. With a half stats, and you're just below half stats. I'll go with the half stats, please. I know you're not as good, but you know, I can't do much about that. Uh, three speed. Four, four speed. Five speed. Ooh. Okay, get up with the five. It goes up to oh, it goes up to five speed. Now that's good. Okay, hello. Now if we knew what you were carrying, but it looks like somebody is just gonna need a pharmacy. So let's build a pharmacy now. We've got forty three thousand, we're fine. Pharmacy. And it's a four square. And I would like to put it here, actually. Um so we have one there. Uh, uh. Is it the pharmacy there? And I put the door this side. It's a, the pharmacy is an outpatient thing, so I'll put the door there so they can go straight back out when they leave. Good. Put the machine there. And put in that one, we'll have uh, a bin, a plant, a radiator. Radiator. Uh, put it there, just to heat, sort of heat up this area. The plant can go there, the bin can go there. Excellent. Okay, so we need benches, and that'll do. So the bench can go flip, flip. There and then put something like that and then flip, flip. And you see, I know I'll do room for you later. There and there, there we go. We need a nurse, however. Nurse, oh, yo, my friend, you, Bip. thank you. Uh, speed three, which is normal speed. I pressed one for some reason. And okay, we could probably do with another room. Uh, what room should we go in next? Well, it's working again. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, you're going to general diagnosis. Oh, I could do with some services. Some uh, facilities. That's the one. Uh, toilets would be nice, actually. You know, stop everyone from sort of puking on the floor. Put it there. Uh, hmm. Might put it there. It's kind of an odd little place to put the dog there. I like that. It's a bit of an unusual, but it's sort of... Fills in this reception area, doesn't it? Okay, that there, that there, and then let's give me another sink, uh, give me some more toilets, uh, a bin, and a couple of radiators. Put that one there, and then we'll go boop, 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 down the back wall, and boop, boop there. Not to mention a radiator, boop, and can't put the bin anywhere, so done. Right, what's this? We have. Your team have discovered a new condition. It's called the squits. Cause eating pizza found under the cooker. Symptoms? Uh, surely you can guess. That sounds familiar. Probably had that one in the last one actually. Uh, anybody else coming in? Nope. Okay. Uh, you are going to be uh, first patient then. Hello. Hello, first patient. How did you survive? I love the zoom on this. Look at that. It's amazing zoom. Yes. First patient cured. Hello. Let's zoom out. Ooh. 
Nice smooth zoom as well, I like that. Goes right out, if you want to point that out. <laughs> okay, uh, let's look at the cat. Staff room! Staff room! Boop. Now, probably the staff room here. Just a nice small staff room in the corner. But the door there. And we have enough room to put enough room in there. Ah! See? Got four spaces. Excellent. And my planning worked. My, my, and by planning, I mean my complete fluke that I didn't plan at all. Don't bother with TV. I can't bother with that. Uh, plant, yes. Radiator, yes. Give me a sofa. These are just small little uh, rec rooms I'm putting in in case you've uh, not noticed. And uh, put the plant there. Radiator there. Boop. Okay, now we've got the staff room, we've got the toilets, we've got all the immediate necessities. Speed 5, go! Excellent game. So, what will we find next patient? What's our actual mission goal? Let's see. Uh, hello. Just wait there a second. So, 20,000 we have that. That's not a problem, but we have to spend more, of course. Cure 60 and be worth quite a bit. Our temperature is quite cool, but we are expanding. So let's have a look at the radiators. Could probably do something in the middle here, but there's not much we can do about the temperature or the overall. Um, maybe put a temp maybe put a radiator in the middle here, but I'm sure we'll sort that pretty quickly. Uh, reception desk, excellent. Anybody else coming in? Yes, people are coming in left, right, and centre now. Well, actually, it's left and right, and the guy's already in the centre. <laughs> don't ask, I not not I not check. Uh, you okay? So, what do you have, my friend? What do you have? Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, if you click on the person, you get this little chat. The, click on that, it tells you what they've be, where they've been. The chat tells you how close they are to being cured. Uh, there's their general stats for getting temperatures and whatnots. This button here, you press that, you take a guess at the cure. Could kill them, could heal them. That one sends them home. Also good if they're about to die, just go home. <laughs> Alright, so, we're now getting to the point where our GP's already in saturated. Now, immediately, let's slow down to one. We have an emergency. Okay, there has been an incident at a dangerous substance research institute. There are three people with uncommon cold. They require immediate attention. You have the right equipment and skills you should be able to handle the emergency. There's a maximum bonus of 1,200 available for handling this emergency. If you fail though, your reputation will be seriously dented. Now here's the thing. I know that uncommon cold would be quite a pharmacy run, so we can ease it. And three people with it, we can handle that. So... Yes, we'll take it. Now, the way that works is they'll come in for the helicopter. Let's wait for it. There it is. And then, one, the little flashing light top, so you know they're part of the emergency crew. There are three people with uncommon cold. So they're all going to now head to the pharmacy for their uncommon cold medicine. We should use to get benches around as well because they're going to stack up there pretty quick. Um, looking at this, we're probably going to need one of them faster. Ah, uh, we're going to need one of them as well. What's this? Uh, your team has discovered a new condition. The TV personalities cause daytime television. Symptoms. Delusions have been able to present a cookery show. A trained psychiatrist must convince a patient to sell their TV and buy radio. So we now need to build a psychiatrist's office for that. So, quickly slow down. That's this warning here. This little warning just basically says we don't have the building for this. So, treatments... Psychiatry, I mean, how big does the room have to be for psychiatry? It's a 5x5 five five room, so we could put it there, but I want my second GP there. So I'm going to put it in this corner over here, and I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, place there, put the door there, boop, 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 boop. and buy all the stuff. I do like buying the stuff as well. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one, two radiators because it's quite a large room. And we'll start with the couch there. And the curtain can go there, and put the chair there, skeleton there, bookcase there, bin there, plant there, radiator number one there, plant number two there. Basically it's a full thing. And then we'll pop down benches, four benches, and that should do us actually. Four benches can we have for enough room, so we might have to put them down, there we go. Right, okay, uh, back to number speed three please, what's this? Your team has discovered a new condition. It is gut rot. Uh, causes Mrs. O'Malley's good time whiskey cough mixture. <laughs> good time whiskey cough mixture. No cough, but no stomach wall lining either. Alright. 
So we will have probably quite a lot of repeats of these, so that's just something to be aware of. Um, we've got another one person there to go into here. And I, we've got loads of time left on the clock, so we got, we're got doing good. Uh, who's my psychiatrist? Do you have my psychiatrist? No, you're my psychiatrist. I need another doctor. Uh, slow down for a second. Doctor! Da, 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 da. Okay, I need you. You're not very good, but I need a psychiatrist, so go! Okay, so we need inflation at some point. We don't really need it just yet. But we are going to need a research facility up and running soon, so I think... Can I get it in there? And then 4x4? Four four? No, it has to be a 5x5? Five five? It has to be a 5x5. Five five. Okay, well... Uh, what have we got here? We've got... A team has covered spare ribs. Oh, okay, spare ribs. Here's a problem. Sitting on cold floors is the cause. Unpleasant feeling of chestiness. The patient... Now, these must be taken out by two surgeons and given to the patient in a doggy bag. We don't have the facility for this because we need to build a surgery. Okay, so now we can ask us a question. Now, first of all, we can't actually build a surgery. So we have no choice but to send this person home. So, I am sorry, but you're going to have to go home. I know you're not very happy about that. And you threw up on the floor as well. Nice, nice. Go home. Um... <laughs> Okay, one more thing. What's this one? Uh, we've lost all our diagnostic equipment. Uh, we, we've got the King Complex. Well, then take a cure, transfer a cure. Because I can see he's got the King Complex. Uh, uh, we say three out of three people in that emergency. We got the entire grant as well. Excelente. All right, so you go over there and we will build the research department. I also want to build the, the ward. The wards are actually important in this game, so let's build a ward. Um, maybe not quite there, it's a bit big for there. Let's build the research department. Research department! Boop. Thank you! Come again. Put the door there. Nobody will know. It's, normally you wouldn't put these so close to the main entrance because it's sort of wasted space, really. But it's fine. Uh, put that there, put the fan cabinet there, and they're going to put in here a... We gave them two radiators. Uh, one in that wall there, and one in this wall over here. I like to have my bigger rooms double heated. Okay, what's this question? Uh, okay, we have now got a patient with spare ribs. We'll send him to the research department and hopefully be able to research the surgery table. It means more doctors, because we need to commit to keep a nice staff. You're a researcher, but are you a good researcher? No. Um, I'm out of researchers. Jeez, we're not having any researchers. I'm hire a researcher. Oops. Yes. You, what do you, what do you, what can you do? You're a surgeon. You're a psychiatrist. You're a psychiatrist. I don't have any. Uh, yikes. I don't have a researcher. You! Get your ass. Oh! Go there. God, I don't know why you wouldn't do that. Uh, I need a researcher. Give me a researcher. Researcher! We don't have any researchers. Ugh. <coughs> okay, uh, I need another surgeon, so give me a good surgeon. Half. And a half. Oh, I'll get in a half. There we go. That should do our job for us. Go, oh, 3 3, thank you. We've got one person waiting for research. I'm going to keep an eye on him. But we have a VIP! Uh, so Lancelot Spratt has been expressed. Uh, yes, by all means, come on in. we got a nice hospital going here. See, now I've uh, oh, put that in the wrong place, haven't I? Because I want to put up a second GP's office in that area. Ugh. Um, How is. Uh, not yet. Just like keep an eye on that, because no expense it rolls over to a different part. Um, I'm about to send him home, by the way. What are you doing here? Surgeon, wandering around. Psychiatrist. Consultant surgeon. So where's my... 
you... Oh, there you are. Whoop. Go there. <laughs> That's one of the really things I really do love with this game. So, uh, yeah, just pick him up and put him over there. It'd be fine. <laughs> okay, so... I still need my surgeon. Where is he? Oh, not my surgeon. My researcher. Give me... Come on, guy. Give me a researcher. I do need a spare nurse, though. Boop. There we go. All right, I'm going to build out uh, into a new area then. I would like you. Thank you. This area here is actually where I'm going to put the research department. So, I need the scissors. That's not the scissors. Scissors. That will. Pick it up. Uh, pick it up. Slow it down. Move it over here. Let's put that there. Let's make it one bigger. We can do so. Let's, let's do it. Boop. Put the door there. I'm putting the research room over here now. Entirely for one reason, actually. Just in case you're wondering why I'm doing it. Put that that way. Uh, radiator there. Second radiator there. Uh, I want an extra desk and an extra filing cabinet. Because we can, basically. Uh, it might come in handy. It might not. We'll find out. Here we go. Excellent. Now, give me two benches. One there, one there. We shouldn't need the benches to worry about, but to be good. I still need a doctor, though. The researcher. Give me a researcher. It's not very good, but... Oh, it's better. Excellent. There. Now, number three, that doctor, that patient should be heading to research department. Excellent. We start researching that uh, room. Oh, and now we're getting we're getting a queue now. So let's build another GP's office. Uh, diagnosis, GP's office, four squares, please. Put it there. Ooh, I want to put it there perfectly. To, it's gonna block off that room, isn't it? Can I put it there? I could if I get rid of that toilet. Ooh, oh, there's so many places I could put stuff. Um, if I put it there, I can't put one there. Oh, I could put one there. I put it there and put that one. That one can't go there. Put it there and it can go there. Okay, we're gonna put it there. I'm gonna make it one wider than it needs to be as well, just for just for uniformity. A little bit of uniformity never hurt anybody. Uh, speed three, by the way. There we go. There we go. There we go. And place and GP there. Fine cabinet. Uh, there. Patient can sit there, and I want a bin, a plant, and a radiator. Radiator goes there, plant can go nicely there, and the bin can go by the door. Boop. Okay, uh, bench, bench. I like having loads of benches around my doors, it makes sense to put them there. There we go, so patient should hopefully start moving around. I probably need another janitor by now with that many people throwing up. Oh, what do you got? Uh, new conditions, spare ribs. Uh, well, I can't do anything about it just now, so send him home. Uh, did that guy make it? E, unfortunately, I want to show you that room, it's amazing. What's this? Uh, spare ribs. Send him home. I'm sorry, but we can't deal with spare ribs until we get that room. Uh, you. Spare ribs, we've got a lot of spare ribs. Unfortunately, we can't treat spare ribs just yet. Uh, yeah, give me a ward. I want a ward. Uh, let's put it over here. That should be a nice big ward there. I've been big enough for a ward. Give me. I like my door there, please. Excellente. Give me my bed. Give me some more beds. God. Give me a bin, uh, a plant, and a couple. Of, give me three radiators. Jeez. Okay, patient dead, patient dead. Give me some beds. Put a bed there and there. Flip, flip. Put a bed there and there. Oh, can I have another bed? I'd like to have four beds if I can. It is a ward after all, you know. Bed. Uh, that way up the air. Perfect. There, and then can I get the desk in on this wall? I can. Right, put the radiator there. Put that radiator there. Put another radiator there. Bean can go there, plant can go there. Excellent. Uh, yeah, we need a nurse to run the warp. I do also need benches and drinks machines. They are important because <laughs> you need to have a drink. 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 Okay, what do we have? 
Patient with slack tongue. Okay, slack tongue. We need a slicer. Uh, do we have that clinic? We do not have that clinic. Se uh, send him to the research department. Ha! There he is. I can see you, slack tongue man. Keep an eye on him for a minute. Interesting enough, it gives us the inflation clinic, but no actual patients that need inflation. Ah, bit of an odd one, that one. I'll build that later on, though. Uh, one patient there, one patient waiting there. That's okay, it's going well. Yes, so you guys get to see for the first time the research bench in use. Yes, radiators. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Research room. And let's just get in there, mate. We'll just have a quick scan. And gone forever. <laughs> By the way, that machine, in case you're wondering, is actually called the auto autopsy. So you know you really won't want to go to that yeah, that scanner, would you? Uh. Okay, so we are. Oh 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 oh! oh. I see somebody there who's going to need the inflator. So let's go clinics. Inflation, and let's actually put it over here. This nice spot was left for a nice clinic to be put in. Let's put the room. I kind of want to put it there. There. I want to put the door here, but no. No, 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 no. Put the room there. Give it a fire extinguisher, radiator, plant, yeah, all, the, all the stuff. Put that there. Put that on that wall. Put the plant there. And the bin can go there. Perfect done. It just needs a little waiting room setting up. Bench, 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 bench. And one, two, three. Oh, uh, just do three. There we go. What do you need? Uh, we have exhausted all our diagnostic equipment. There's eighty percent, ninety percent chance we think it's slack tongue. I'm okay. Uh, I still can't use it, so go home. Sorry, but we, unless somebody gives me an inflator, not an inflator, a uh, flat tongue machine, what do you have? Uh, s spare ribs. Go to the research department. I need that operating table. Operating table. One GP, what, two GP. We're doing quite well. Actually, I think we're doing quite well. Um, this, I think we get to a point now we're going to have multiple episodes per hospital. I mean, I could always do it so we have one one episode per hospital, and I just sort of research department. Uh, what's our R and D looking like right now? I need cure equipment increasing, so let's bring down improvements down to fifteen, specialization down to fifteen, drug research down to fifteen, and you're up to twenty six. You can have the rest. Oh, twenty five, twenty five, thirty. There we go. Top the research a little bit in the appropriate areas. We have. A team's got a new condition, it's blown to your head. Sniffing cheese and drinking unpurified rainwater. <laughs> okay, so that's this machine here, and this one is King Complex. Take a chance. Okay, so we have a fair few doctors running around now. We have an emergency, and the emergency is uh, four people with heat piles. Again, that's a pharmacy related job. So, yeah. We can do four people with heat piles. We probably need to increase our uh, pharmacy command uh, capability if we get like a bigger number. But that'll do fine. Have we got anything new in here yet? Not there. No, no, and no. Okay, so we've got a little while to go yet. You're going to be King Complex. Take a chance. Hello, you lot. How are you doing? And slack tongue. Research department. Get a research. We can hopefully get a slack tongue device relatively soon. Now turn the research up. Because when you send something to research department, it actually accelerates the research of that particular illness. And you, my friend, slack up. Research as well. And not to send too many people to research. They will find out. People, the public, find out about research. Slicer's being detected. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so clinic, slack tongue. Give me a slack tongue clinic just there. There. Um, yeah, I can't really put it there because it's not enough room to put it there. That's uh, a problem. 
Put it there. Uh, we'll stick the door there then, because we can. Mostly. Uh, beep. Flat tongue can go there, and it needs all the normal bits. So, beep, 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 and beep. Fight Timothy can go there. Radiator can go there. Plant can go there. And the bean can go there. For the spare tons. There we go. And also, that means you need uh, two benches and a drinks machine. So, bench, bench, drinks machine. Uh, let's not put that there, actually. Let's put it there. There we go. Your uh, King Complex. Take a chance. I always like taking chance on King Complex. Uh, one more to go on the emergency. Uh, loads of time left. What's our staff like? Staff. One janitor. Okay. I uh, thought we might need another one, so let's get another janitor in. Janitor. Oh, you're pretty good, actually. Okay, not that good then. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Slack Tongue will be our first Slack Tongue patient, I believe, that's actually getting cured. Excellent. Four people cured out of four? Not bad, not bad at all. How's our reward doing? Ah, oh, look at them, man, they're having a good sleep. Ah. Oh. Okay, the only downside is when the nurse gets tired and she leaves the room, uh, all patients get out of bed as well. They don't just change over. Kidney beans. Okay, that, again, that's two, surger two surgeons. We don't have the surgery yet. Can I just check we don't have surgery yet? Uh, no, we don't have the surgery yet. So we need to make a call. Uh, I'm going to send you research. I still need that surgery room, the operating theater. Uh, slack tongue. Take a chance. Go, 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 go. It's always possible they are wrong. You know, there's always possibility of something they don't know. Kidney beans. R&D, go. Uh, just a matter of, just shove everyone into R&D. We need them over there. <laughs> uh, these hospitals are not very well laid out, are they? Jeez. Yep. Yay. Making money. Money, 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 money. Okay, guys. So I think this is a great place to leave the episode. And we'll come back in the next episode. And we'll be able to uh, build, hopefully build our operating theater over here. Maybe two have some emergencies and expand into other rooms. But for now, I'll leave you with Mr. Sir Lancelot Splat remarked that's a soup hospital. I should have known I should and I should know I've been in a few. <laughs> but for now, all I can really say is comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. And the operating table's been successfully researched. Yes, next time, operating table. Ah!